An operation called an esophagectomy is a treatment to remove abnormal or cancerous cells in the esophagus. Ectomy means to remove. In this operation, part of the esophagus is removed, along with the top part of the stomach and nearby lymph nodes. Lymph nodes capture bacteria, viruses, and other harmful material, including abnormal cells, moving through the body. Typically, the remainder of the stomach is pulled up through the hiatus and attached to the remaining part of the esophagus. Some people appreciate the peace of mind that comes with removing the esophagus. With other treatment options, there is a possibility that cancer can develop in the part of the esophagus underneath the area that was treated. Obviously, cancer cannot develop in a part of the esophagus that has been completely removed and cancer rarely develops in the remaining esophagus after an esophagectomy. The risks of an esophagectomy in the first month after surgery include infection, bleeding, and leaking from the area where the remaining esophagus is attached to the stomach. As with any major surgery, an esophagectomy carries the risk of death. Typically, medical institutions where surgeons perform a large number of esophagectomies, such as Mayo Clinic, have significantly lower mortality rates than do hospitals where few esophagectomies are performed. After an esophagectomy, food may move more quickly from the stomach into the lower intestine. With certain foods, this can lead to a problem called dumping, causing weakness, sweating, diarrhea, and abrupt tiredness after eating. These effects can be reduced by avoiding foods with high sugar content. Food may also move more slowly after an esophagectomy, leading to reflux or a feeling of fullness in the chest after eating. These effects can be reduced by chewing well, avoiding certain foods, favoring soft foods, eating smaller, more frequent meals, and not eating within three hours before bedtime. There are other treatments available for high-grade dysplasia that do not involve removing the esophagus or lymph nodes. Before deciding on any treatment, discuss the risks and benefits with your healthcare provider. Mayo Clinic has a very large team with an international reputation for its skill in diagnosing and treating reflux, Barrett's esophagus, and esophagus cancer. Mayo Clinic's Division of Gastroenterology and Hepatology is recognized as number one by U.S. News & World Report. If you wish, you may have the opportunity to participate in a clinical trial of a new or improved treatment. Go to mayoclinic.org to find out how to request an appointment with a Mayo Clinic physician.